What you guys today we're taking a look at how to disable Windows Copilot in Windows 11. Now not everyone is happy with the moments for update and don't want all this added extra bloat to their operating system. And if you're one of those people that want to remove Copilot as you can see right here on the right, then this video is for you. Whether you're using Windows Home or Windows Pro, I'll show you how to remove uh, the actual Copilot from Windows itself. We use group policy and we'll do also the registry editor so it covers all uh, operating systems. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can remove this. Now, of course, if you want this on your system and you want to be able to use the AI feature inside Windows, by all means, leave it on the computer. And when this is rolled out to you with the Moments 4 update, you will see an icon appear on your taskbar and you can then basically use this just like I'm showing you here. To do any sort of image work, you will need to be signed into your Microsoft account. So let's go ahead and put in WinVer here so you can see the version of Windows I'm using. Now, if you want to know whether you're using Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home, you can just basically go to the Start button here, click on this and go to Settings. Inside here, in the System tab, go all the way down to About. And this will tell you whether you're running Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home, as you can see right here. If you're on the own version, then the group policy will not be there and you will have to use the registry tweak to basically disable it. So let me show you both of these methods. So we'll do the group policy first, assuming you're on Windows 11 Pro by typing GP edit in the search box. And this will open up the local group policy editor. We're going to start off with user configuration here, then administrative templates. Go into Windows Components, open this one up here. And once we open this up, you need to go and find Windows Copilot. And here it is right here. Click on this one, and this will open up the Windows Copilot. So we need to double click on Turn Off Windows Copilot Policy. And once we double click on this, you'll see some instructions here. This policy settings allows you to turn off Windows Copilot. If you enable the policy, the settings and users will not be able to use Copilot, and that's exactly what you want to do. So if you enable it, it's going to basically stop people using it, and it will not appear on your taskbar. If you disable, it's going to allow people to use it. So put that on Enable, and then you can apply an OK, and you'll see the, the actual Copilot has been removed from the taskbar, and it's now been disabled. So it's not working on this system. So what happens if you're on Windows 11 Home? If you're on Windows 11 Home, then you can basically use the registry editor to basically disable uh, your Windows Copilot. So go to the search box and type reg edit, and this will open up the registry editor here. So click on this, and this will open up this box here. From here, we're gonna go up the top left-hand side. Make sure you've got a backup of your registry before you mess around in your registry, otherwise things can go wrong. So we're gonna start off with the H key current user here, and we're going to go down to software, click on this one, and then go down to policies. Once you open policies, go down to Microsoft, click on Microsoft and open this one up here. Then go to Windows and open up the Windows one. And from there, you should now see Windows Copilot. Now, once we click on Windows Copilot, we'll see a turn off Windows uh, Copilot. And that's because we've just added that policy. You won't see this here, and you will need to create a new 32-bit uh, uh, D word value here. So let me just show you how you can do that. I'll show you how to do it a little bit later in the uh, computer side as well. So right-click, go new, and D word 32-bit value right here. And uh, you should see this. Click this, and then just make that turn off Windows uh, Copilot inside there. And then you can double-click on it and make that a... Uh, value of one and this will disable it. I'll show you how to do it on the computer side because the group policy only does it on the user uh, side. So I'll show you on there. So basically put a value of one in here and click OK. I've already got it done. So let me show you how to do this properly on the computer side because this is on for user. So we're going to shut all this down here and go to the local machine, open this up and we need to go to the same location. So come down to where it says software, click on this one here, and then come down to where it says policies, open this up, Microsoft, and then open up Microsoft and then look at Windows here. So click on Windows, open this up, and there won't be no Windows Copilot on the 
on the actual local machine. So basically what you're going to do here is on both of these, either user or machine or both, you can right click on the windows here and create a new uh, key and call this Windows Copilot, all one word with capitals on the W and the C for Copilot, just like I'm doing right here. And once you've got this typed out, we can then add in a new uh, D Word 32 bit value on the right hand pane here. So there we have our Windows Copilot uh, key added in or folder. And what we can do is now move on to the right hand pane, go new and D Word 32 bit value, and then call this turn off Windows Copilot, just like so. But make sure you put the capitals in like I'm doing here for the first letter of each word. And there we go. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then what we can do is double click on this uh, key and then we can give that a value of one. And this will then de uh, disable uh, that feature in Windows. And you've just disabled Windows Copilot on Windows 11 Home and also Windows 11 Pro. It's that simple. One's using group policy and one's using the registry editor. Now this is a new feature that has been added in with a bunch of other new features in the uh, Moments 4 update, which you would have probably received already. And that's basically how you can uh, disable it. Now, not everyone is gonna use this feature. Basically what this is doing is gonna put in a question like I showed you at the beginning, and it's gonna go off the internet and find that information and display it right there. You can use your browser to do all of that anyway. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, then hit the like button and also leave me a comment down below. That does help with the YouTube algorithm. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.